might start with a sketch based on something that influences me in the city. I take a lot from my environment. Um, and I take a lot of the visual information from uh, roadway signs, uh, construction, things like that. Uh, things that sort of like force us to move in different directions throughout our life. Uh, and use that language in my work. Uh, I also have in my studio three different sets of lights. So I play with different lighting scenarios while I'm working on a piece to see how it affects the piece. Um, and I also, I'm, I'm getting more interested in, uh, for instance, in this piece, you can kind of see like a little cast of red from that red side. So I'm also trying to uh, start toning the shadows so that they have a little bit more color to them. And really that has a lot to do with getting more high powered lights so that that light really penetrates. Um, and I also want my work to be really uh, approachable from all angles. I wanted to have movement, a sense of movement to it. So I want the viewer to actually move around it and see how it shifts. Uh, Frank Stella was an influence early on and then uh, moving to Houston, uh, especially with the MFAH's you know, installation of Carlos Cruz Diaz, I got a really expansive view of his work and was blown away by uh, I had known he had been an artist, but I didn't really understand his interest in architecture. And when I saw that, I really started to make connections with his work through my work. Um, and especially the, uh, the idea of that, you know, passing by, like his work had a lot of uh, um, an interest in how the viewer moves past a piece, I think, because there's a lot of change as the viewer moves. Um, so I definitely was influenced, I think, by that, uh, especially with like a piece like this you know, definitely has more reference to that idea of the architecture and the idea that as you move past the piece, it, it transforms. My influences uh, with uh, style and, and that element of design, I think that's sort of, you know, incorporated into the Bauhaus School uh, is tangentially part of what I was researching early on in Chicago with advertising, because I feel like that same sort of influence came from that direction. So uh, my interest in advertising design and that element being brought into sort of uh, when I moved to Houston, the, the idea of uh, transit and transportation and, and moving people back and forth was definitely a crucial part of developing the language that I use. Um, and so I think that we, uh, you know, like myself uh, being interested in, you know, how we are spoken to uh, through design uh, and trying to re sort of negotiate that language to formalist abstraction is, is really how I would be connected with the, the Bauhaus and their, their ideas behind design. Well, uh, initially actually, uh, um, Ellsworth Kelly was the first person that really sort of opened me to that idea, you know, that just the, 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 the paintings that were uh, maybe semicircles or just shaped canvases that had a color form and a white background, uh, that separation of, uh, that separation I would feel when I approached the painting where I would have like one field of vision filled with a color and the other field filled with this white noise uh, really had an impression on me, really had an impression on my uh, understanding of, of color. But I also at one point in time had a, uh, a dream when I was a kid and in that dream I died. And when I woke up I felt half of my face warm and half of my face cold black. And I saw orange on one side and black on the other side. Uh, that sensation has been something that I've always wanted in my work. So I've always wanted this sort of uh, uh, inability to really process what you're seeing. But especially those moments where line sort of continues on past, or I'll wrap it around if it's a canvas, I'll wrap it around the edge, uh, is, is me sort of, you know, wanting to keep going with the idea, you know, this, this idea that two-dimensional, three-dimensional are not really, uh, that they're in flux. Thank you.